Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a recommendations video. It's for anybody who is a fan of Strange the Dreamer. These are some other stories that I think that you might be interested in. So something that I find to be pretty notable about Strange the Dreamer is that it just has this very whimsical feel. It feels like a fairy tale. And because of this, another author that I think achieves this tone would be Marissa Meyer. I don't know that I have a specific book recommendation by Marissa Meyer. I guess if I had to pick one, I would say maybe Heartless is the closest when it comes to that whimsical feel. But anything really by Marissa Meyer, I think is going to have that fairy tale feeling because it's literally fairy tale retellings. I do think that Strange the Dreamer feels a little bit more like a grim fairy tale. It has some very dark moments and I think it raises a lot of questions. It kind of goes into the grayness of people, meaning they're not entirely good, they're not entirely bad. And then I think maybe in Marissa Meyer's books, we don't really do that as much. They definitely feel like maybe they're geared toward the younger side of young adult, but ultimately I still think that they have that sense, that, that whimsical sense about them. And because of that, I'd say, if you really love Strange the Dreamer, maybe check out Marissa Meyer. The next few recommendations I have are all rooted in the fact that they have a beautiful writing style and Strange the Dreamer has a beautiful writing style. Strange the Dreamer's writing style is the kind that I normally wouldn't have thought would appeal to me because it's so pretty, but I loved the themes in the story and I really loved the characters. And so I ended up appreciating the writing style. I think it very much added to the world. And these other stories I think often are praised for their writing styles, one of which would be Name of the Wind. While I don't think these stories really match in tone, I do think that both are very beautifully written. And if you're the kind of reader that you really want an elegant writing style or you want something pretty, just in how sentences are worded, you almost want it to feel poetic. I think both of these books definitely have that. The other two that I would recommend based off of having nice writing styles would be Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb and then Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I personally would say that these stories are extremely, extremely different. But again, if you are the kind of person that when you read a story, you almost want it to feel like it's poetry, you want to feel like this, this author is better at writing the craft of writing itself than you could be, then these are ones that I think achieve that. I think sometimes stories, it's there's a difference between being a great writer and being a great storyteller. And I think all of these, up for debate your feelings on how they are as storytellers, but I don't think anybody would look at the writing in any of these three stories and think that the literal way that the sentences are constructed are poor. My next recommendation is based on the fact that there is a little bit of a love story in Strange the Dreamer, and I personally don't mind romance in my stories. I usually prefer when the fantastical elements of my fantasy books are still at the forefront. Strange the Dreamer, I would say, is maybe an exception because while the romance was quite significant to the plot, I still was very much interested in everything else that was happening and I did really love the characters. And there's another story out there that the fantasy elements, I think, are still always at the forefront. The romance is still really, really sweet and it's so cute. I feel maybe weird calling it cute, but it is, and that would be Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I'm not just recommending it because both of these stories have romance. I'm recommending it because of the kind of romance between these characters, and that is that it's very sweet. It's very nice. A lot of times stories, and it's completely fine, but a lot of times stories, they start off as enemies and then they become lovers, or there's that constant banter between them, things like that. And I don't really find that with the characters in either of these stories. I just think that the relationship is so pleasant and cute and it's the kind that you're just like, aww. My last recommendation is one that I feel like I recommend in every recommendations video that I do like this. And it's not even a book, it's a video game. But I don't care because it's so good and I really do truly think that if you like Strange the Dreamer, you would probably like this story and that would be Final Fantasy X. I often joke that Final Fantasy X has the best love story, it has the greatest love story of all time. So it fits that. It has a fantastic love story in it, but it also visually just has so much beauty. And I think that the way that Lainey Taylor describes so many things in her world, especially in Laszlo's dreams, it's so colorful and it's, it's luscious and vivid. And that is what 
Final Fantasy looks like. The color, just the colors alone are so stunning, but then how they're able to create these landscapes and these different settings are so beautiful. And I just feel like if Laszlo's dreams could be seen, like we could literally see it, it would be in some of the places in Final Fantasy X because they are just gorgeous. Anyway, that's it for some of my recommendations for anybody who's a fan of Strange the Dreamer. Let me know what you would recommend. I definitely would love to see that. But anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you.